uh, from OV 217 onwards. Uh, Sri, Krishna, Sri Krishna is telling Arjuna then, see, like without cutting the body of a piece of iron, touch stone changes that into gold. Like that, the listener will be happy without his partner being hurt. Such excellence is seen in which speech the water mainly goes to the tree. The grass grows naturally. Like that, when spoken to one, the speech benefits each and everyone. When one gets goblet from God, filled with nectar, it makes him immortal. Bathing in it, warts of fever and sins, it also gives sweetness. Like that, it removes ignorance. We get to meet our original, originless state, the soul. On listening, the nectar, we never get bored of its taste. When someone asks, this should be the way of speaking, otherwise he should go on reciting Vedas or the name of God. Three Vedas include Rugved or Three Vedas, including Rigved, are established on his tongue in the temple of speech that is mouth, as if the mouth is made into school of Vedas, or the name of one, Shiva or Vishnu, is in the speech, that, understand, is the penance out of speech. Now the penance which is by mind, that I shall tell, listen, said Sri Krishna, the leader of kings, when waves disappear from the lake, or the sky is devoid of clouds, or when serpents leave the garden of sandalwood, or the moon is abandoned by its phases, or the king is abandoned by warriors, or Mandar mountain should leave ocean of milk. Like that, the net of different doubts, when all of them have left, the mind that remains behind as the pure form of cell, the soul, the light should be without heat, or the juice without heaviness in the food, or the space without vacuum. Like that, mind forgets its nature when the soul is seen. Like the cold doesn't let its body shiver by inherent coldness. The moon should be without stains without movement and always full. The beauty of mind with that purity, the scratches of detachment have healed. The uneasiness mind of mind have gone and the ground for the knowledge of self is ready. So, the mouth that should be used to discuss Vedic scriptures, it doesn't take the thread of speech, doesn't speak, the salt dissolves as soon as it touches its own self, that is water. Like that, mind forgets mindness, that is mind forgets desiring or making wishes. We need to receive itself. When it joins self-soul, then how will thoughts arise there? That will run through the organs and reach the town of pleasures. So, in that thoughtless mind, the purity of thought is natural, like the palm is naturally hairless and so clean. What more shall I say, Arjuna? When such a state comes to the mind, then that is fit for the name be penanced by mind. Let this be so. Understand, I completely describe the science of mental penance said God. Thus, by mind, body and speech, which is divided into three, I made you listen, that is penance in general. Now in association with three attributes, this each is divided into three. Listen to that with good attention. I will stop here, come again for my next session of a reading Dhaneshwari. We have stopped at uh, 
OV239 in Chapter 17. Thank you very much for joining me.